Wildcats is sweeping the nation and right here in the borderland, no exception. While it has become a phenomenon on social media, for some it has some negative connotations. KFOX 14 News at 5's Jonathan Mejia is live in East El Paso to explain the background of this popular haircut, which he went out to find out about today. Hey Erica, right now I find myself at Rebirth Barber Studio in East El Paso and as you can see behind me, barbers are hard at work at this hour, but the haircut is referred to as the Edgar on social media and all it really is is on, it has a fade on the side and a taper cut in the front and back. I spoke with a barber and a UTEP professor who tells me this trend is here to stay. Well, I think it's a really big marker of this current generation. So every generation will have its different, you know, mainstream and then its subcultures. But I think this speaks to a national trend. I really do think that this trend will stay just because, I mean, it's gaining more popularity as, as we can tell right now. So I, I don't think this trend's gonna go anywhere. Everybody still likes that cut. It's still a cool cut. So. The Edgar cut is a popular haircut these days thanks to TikTok propelling the popularity of this look. However, what many may not know is that the hairstyle has become a way for many to connect to their Mexican and indigenous roots. It's kind of reminiscent of that, you know, in the, what used to be like traditionally the Norteño culture. Now the, the trend is um, square boots instead of the pointy ones. This haircut is very dominant throughout different um, parts of the culture. Frank Perez is a communications professor at UTEP and he believes the cut is more than a trend. It's a form of identity and expression. It speaks to identity and having to say, you know, I'm part of this culture. This haircut kind of represents that, even if we may not articulate it that way to ourselves at the time when we get it. For barber Nicolas Campos, he's been cutting hair for three years now and says barbers have to stay up to date with social media to satisfy their clients. You really just got to keep up with the trends. You got to, social media is a big factor in that. Um, TikTok, of course, everybody's starting to get all these different cuts from TikTok, from Instagram. While Campos is able to cut several other styles, he's been getting more requests for the Edgar. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. It's honestly one of the most popular haircuts that I do that I do cut and use right now. Um, I would say probably 70 to 80 percent of my clients are Edgars right now. But it says that there are other factors that are influencing teenagers and it's not just the Edgar or the haircut and they say that he cannot place the blame on the haircut. Instead, think of other factors such as social economic status as well as family background. We're live in East El Paso, Jonathan Mejia, KFOX 14 News at 5.